Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon X. This is going to be one of those parts where the game just decides, hey, you're progressing far too quickly, so here's an arbitrary roadblock. <laughs> so uh, we're going to potter around Snowbell for a bit before heading to the southwest to the Winding Woods to find Wolfric, the gym leader. Don't you just love situations like this, mate? No, I don't. I'm not even going to make a fucking joke. I just hate it. I hate when filler comes in out of fucking nowhere. Just to, like, halt your progress. Also see, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. A <laughs> sea keeper. Sea keeper. Oh, that fucking asshole. But we probably shouldn't talk about that until much later. <laughs> this tune playing right here is from Jub Life City, which I believe uh, is from Gen 4. Oh, please don't let this be another Stunfisk incident. Is that what we're going to call it now? The Stunfisk Days. <laughs> yes, the uh, government versus Stunfisk 2014. Yeah, let me guess, like, the more obsessive fans who, uh, don't want to let go over that incident, they're sending you, like, stunfist cards in the mail. We know, Tom! Hey, you turn it over, it says nine months, nine months <laughs> on the boat. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Fuck you, you made us wait for commentary. <laughs> oh, I guess if we're going to the woods, we should be attired appropriately, but really, this is just an excuse for me to look fancier than usual. I mean, I like the jacket you've got going on, but I think it's about time you changed it up. Anything but camo, if that's all I ask. Yeah, um... <laughs> Man, I'm from the South, and even I think camo's a bit out of place if you're not actually in that kind of environment where you need it, so... I think that's good. I think that's good. What, that's it? That's all you're gonna change? Well, I got a, a hoodie and some trousers. Do you think maybe the hoodie should be a bit darker? I don't know, I think the green is a bit too light for my taste. How have we sunk this low? What? I'm just saying. <laughs> I should have accessorized the uh, feather to match as well. Where, can we get like a green one of those birds? I don't know. Have you seen any shiny fletchling lately? <laughs> Thank you for actually naming what it is. I completely spaced on it for a second there. It's the bird. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Which bird is it? Oh, shit. And this is why there are two commentators in each Hellfire like, Comms playthrough. <laughs> Uh, we'll be getting to the gym next part, eh, you worry, guys? Yeah, now we gotta do this stupid filler first, don't you love that? <laughs> Did you watch Where's Wally, or Where's Waldo, when you were a kid? That was a show? Oh, yeah, I think it was a cartoon. I think it was, like, a 13-episode one, and they showed it on, like, oh, CBS, I wanna say? Or was it Fox? Well, this series takes place on HFC, and uh, before we get to uh, Wolfric, we'll have to deal with a, uh, a rather maze-like wood area, and this guy. Now, this guy, actually, he's one of my uh, new favorite... Oh, that's beautiful, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. But I really do like uh, Trevent, Trevent. I'm going to say both of those pronunciations in case I get one of them wrong, so I'm double covered. Uh-huh. But... I think it looks really cool for a ghost uh, grass type, and you know, it's also got one of those, um, you know, entries in the Pokédex where it was evolved from somebody who had previously died as a human, so it's kind of fucked up. Okay, let me read the Pokédex entries. Uh, for X, it can control trees at will. It will trap people who harm the forest so they can never leave, so it's a black horn, basically, from uh, the Lord of the Rings series. So, um, when you catch this, are you going to call it the Halloween tree, or are you going to call it Mound Shroud? I'm probably just going to call it Spooky Tree, to be honest. <laughs> Too spooky. Man, if you do that, though, I will probably have to hate you personally. Just going to throw that out there. Oh, let me read the entry for its uh, pre-evolution phantom. These Pokemon are created when spirits possess rotten tree stumps. They prefer to live in abandoned forests. Okay, not bad. Then you get to the entry for Pokemon Y. According to old tales, these Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. Awesome. For the whole family... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Litwick, it uh, basically sucks people's life force, and its flame grows stronger as that person dies. So, it's kind of like a reverse Charmander? <laughs> Pretty much. Charmander, why are you eating my soul? Man, I am not feeling that great, trainer. I hope you understand, my fire is about to go out, so I figured I'd eat this guy's brain. No, this is kind of one of those all-or-nothing moves, as we all know, horn drill, uh, much like a uh, guillotine, etc. doesn't work 100% of the time, but when it does, it uh, kills a Pokemon 100% of the time. Well, even then, it's still a bit too dicey for my taste, so personally, I wouldn't use it in any movesets. And since, yes, I have played Pokemon before, I've had the chance to pass over it. So I don't want you to go say, Eh, well, did they say not to do that in competitive? <laughs> What was that accent? 
<laughs> making fun of you, I think. Or it's you from an alternate dimension. Your dog's like this. <laughs> I'm from the Middle East of England, not the fucking South. <laughs> I'm from the Bizarro Land. <laughs> okay, this stone right here can uh, help you evolve your Eevee into a, uh, a Leafeon. And I really hate that name because it just sounds dumb. That's true. Uh, it's not as creative as, say, Sylpheon. Because that uh, derives itself from Sylph. Uh, S-L-Y-P-H, which I'm sure is some... It comes from somewhere and it basically means, you know, like a fairy or a fae kind of woodland creature like that. Well, first of all, it's Sylveon. Second of all, I believe it's pronounced Treviant, like, you know, uh, Covenant. Hey, that's why I said both of them in case one of them was wrong. I covered myself, you see? Oh, shit, it's a fairy showdown. Oh, well, too bad I have a fucking T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, this is Battle of the Dinosaurs right here. Pretty much, yeah. I'm trying to now. I'm really trying to think of all the dinosaurs that have shown up in Pokemon. Like there's Lapras, uh, Tyrantum, whatever the hell the other one is evolved into. I don't know the name off the top of my head. Professor Birch, he's he's pretty strong. Uh, something like that. Um, other than that, you know, I don't really think they've gone into dino. Oh, Aerodactyl, of course. Duh, no shit. I love his Mega Evolution. He uh, reminds me of the lead singer of System of a Down. I think I brought that joke up before. <laughs> Getting edgier. I mean, that's most of the Mega Evos anyway, but I think Aerodactyl kind of takes it to that special step where he decides to become the edge itself. <laughs> so, um, this thing looks like ice cream, and I'm really hungry. This is probably my least favorite design of Gen 6. I think I answered this on my Ask.fm account. My favorite is Hall Lucha, just so you all know. Hall Lucha is pretty good. Tyrantum is obviously at the top of the list. Uh, Slurpuff, yeah, he looks like shit. I'm sorry, I'm not... And yeah, as you know, if it looks like shit, it therefore must be completely worthless and competitive. <laughs> Jesus, every time you mention that, a bit of my soul gets left behind in the woods. You're just sitting there going, oh, what are they going to fucking bring up in the comments to invalidate Hell Dragon's remarks? Actually, that's a good point. It says uh, it traps people in the forest who do bad things, but this is woods. They're completely different. Yes. Completely different in every way. I agree. Dodger Todra, perfect. I can't believe that that has to be a skill you need to master. Can you dodge toddlers? You better if you want to become a Pokemon trainer. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, gee, Ed Tom, and maybe Hell Dragon, don't know, don't no, care. No, think about me. I, I, I get lonely sometimes. <laughs> okay, do I have to take the correct path to make it through this forest, lest I uh, just wind up back at the beginning? Uh, yes, so use an FAQ. Yeah, uh, when I first saw it, it definitely looked like a Lost Woods uh, kind of situation. This is Wolfric, he is the eighth and final gym leader. Can you guess his typing? Um, he's lazy. I know that much, because apparently he's not at the gym he's supposed to be in charge of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, can't they get, like, temporary gym leaders in? A guy who, like, owns an ice-type gym but uses rock-types by mistake. Who else would that be? I'm honestly trying to remember who else uses rock-types and was a gym leader. Or maybe even an Elite Four can come over to substitute for a while from another region. <laughs> an Elite Four guy who uses rock-types, yeah, sure. Didn't Bruno do that? No, wait, he was fighting. Yeah, he just liked to use Onyxes for some reason. Yeah, I, I never really got that, but I guess because of the limited uh, Pokemon amount at the time. Yeah, I do want to challenge you. That's kind of the point of me going on this journey in the first place. Yeah, you should probably get back to the building you're supposed to be running. I'm just going to throw that out there. And let me tell you something. We all discovered why it was Ice-type, because a spark was set off. Mmm, <laughs> dirty Pokemon berries, thanks. Partially chewed Poke Chow. Why are you getting shit out of its mouth? You don't know if that wing belonged to a Fletchling! <laughs> I took it, it was my trophy. <laughs> it brought you a present. Oh, hey, there's a guy over there, I want to see what his deal's about. Why is he standing guard in front of a cave inside a area where no other humans tend to go to besides Wolfric. Well, uh, as you can see from the uh, danger before us, uh, we shall see soon enough. Now, I think this is a bit of an overkill for the mushroom, don't you think? <laughs> I don't think you realize, again, the danger that is before us here. Oh shit, it's a mushroom! Fucking nuke it! I should probably mention that the rest of this part is just going to be us checking out the wild Pokemon in the Pokemon Village. So, um... How you doing, Hell Dragon? I'm doing fine, uh, you know, getting some work here and there. Uh, you know, doing the freelance thing. It's okay when I get some. 
Cool, cool. Uh, did you see the uh, first part of the Mega Evolution special? Uh, no, I didn't. I instead watched the first episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, because I had to figure out a way to bring that up in this commentary, and I'm glad I did. That's cool, that's cool. I'm now smoking the JoJo ganja, as it were. <laughs> I'm now on that JoJo train. Are you a stand user? Yes. Uh, so we caught a mushroom, which is not something we tend to do every day. I still have no idea why this one also has a Pokeball design. I mean, I get Voltorb and Electrode. Those are fine for, you know, mimicking Pokeballs. But this Pokeball, you know, design is flat and there's, like, bulbous limbs sticking out of it. Is anybody really going to be fooled? Like, you could think that maybe Voltorb and Electrode were created, because I really don't want to open up those Pokemon and find guts of what's not inside. This Pokemon had to evolve into this state. Is the pollution of the Pokemon world so bad, I, in Unova, I guess, that it produced these freaks of nature? Okay, sure. Blame Unova for polluting the entire world. I know what kind of angle you're getting on. <laughs> I didn't even realize what I was saying, though. <laughs> See, that's how you get casual... Hatred towards Unova. You spout shit and you don't even realize how it hurts my Unova brothers. Get the fuck out of it, you creepy, creepy piece of shit. I'm gonna eat little girls, and I'm pretty sure that's an Oingo Boingo song. I gotta be ready for the Elite Four soon. Well, that's good. Uh, you've settled on your uh, end game team, I assume? Well, at the time of uh, us recording this, I actually have all the footage for the main game of X and Y. Ah, excellent. Well, mostly just X, since that's the game we're playing. That'd be a bit impressive, if I had a complete run-through for Y as well. Why, Slint? <laughs> Again, this is still a bit more overkill. Okay, the Jigglypuff is level 50, I get that, but at the same time, we're still gonna, like, smush the hell out of it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna bleed, like, pink everywhere. I made a bit of a beginner's error there, if you noticed. I tried to attack it with a Dragon-type move, uh, completely forgetting that it is now part fairy, and that wouldn't affect it. Oh, yeah. But meanwhile, Celebi doesn't get that reclassification, which is still a bit weird to me. Don't even fucking get me started about Celebi. Who is classified as a fucking fairy? Is this gonna be, like, a new pressure point I shouldn't, you know, talk about? <laughs> okay, are you gonna catch one of these? Because I'm pretty sure there are some fans who want one of these. Well, I've already uh, picked one up uh, from Wonder Trade, as you can tell by the Pokeball symbol in the top right. If you see one of those, that means you've already caught that particular Pokemon. Oh, you know what? I might as well take the moment to ask. Um, even though you may not have all the Wonder Trade stuff on screen, were there any particularly interesting uh, trades you got over it as you were recording the footage for this playthrough? Um, I got some particular late game Pokemon like Noivern, etc. Uh, I think I got a Froakie with Protein at one point. But I don't think, like, Noivern or its pre-evolved form show up in-game until, like, late, 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 late at the end. I think it's, like, Victory Road shit, am I right? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. You can also find Hydreigons there, which is pretty cool. Huh, that's interesting. Yes, I said interesting again. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, no, I'm uh, too busy uh, laying out a, a not-so-subtle hint for our fans. Next calm. Hmm... I got it, Monster Zinc. <laughs> You're amazing. This is why I do commentary with you, Hell Dragon. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week, unfortunately. You know, the music for Pokemon Village actually reminds me of um, Flower Fields from Paper Mario. Really? How so? Well, uh, one, it's uh, sickening, sickeningly sweet and uh, drives me to uh, near bouts of insanity, and uh, also it's not very good. That ditto didn't need to die, but it had to. I think it was important that Tyrantum establish who was in charge of this hidden Pokemon village. You know? You notice there was a, a trash can back there? Yeah, you can find Trubbish here, in this most serene and unspoiled of environments. Even here, pollution thrives. Yeah, I guess Trubbish comes into the village. Hey guys, can I hang out? Yeah, <laughs> Trubbish, listen, um, while you're hanging out, and we don't mind, we totally don't mind, but you know, we sort of have a reputation, and we don't want to be smirch it, so yeah. Uh, like, Zoroark levels with him is like, listen, buddy, I like you, but everyone else is giving you the stink eye, mostly because you're stinking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Hey, you remember the unknown dungeon from Gen 1? They are reusing that concept again! Oh, well. I'm totally surprised. Well, Gen 6 was like a love letter to Gen 1. It, it just, uh, it, it put the cartridge on the ground and just went to town on it, really. Nothing? Okay, see you next time. <laughs>